Hey guys, welcome to the video. And what we have here is a Eufy camera. Now I have a lot of Eufy cameras. In fact, every single houses that we own, we have Eufy cameras on them. They're very easy to install and very easy to use. And uh, this one is a new one for me. I've never ever used this model um, and it was pretty cheap. So um, I thought I can pick one up and see how this works. So this one is actually a 2K camera. So the quality is gonna be pretty okay. Uh, the 2K resolution on the Eufy cameras, um, this is a security camera by the way. So, you know, it's, it's not gonna be the perfect quality but they are pretty good, um, you know, compared to other stuff. Uh, this thing does record 24 seven. So unlike the regular ones that I use, uh, which are like 2C, 2C Pros, and uh, you know, the long ones, whatever that is, uh, I don't even remember the name of it, but uh, you know, those are uh, battery powered. So uh, they do only motion sensor, uh, motion sensed uh, things. But this one, it does record uh, 24 seven. And I think this is an indoor, yep, this is an indoor. So can I put this outside? Uh, with that being said, let's actually go ahead and open this up and see what this is all about. So, there we go. Let's open the box up. Shouldn't be that hard. Now, I actually forgot how this actually works. I think it connects to the home base that I currently have, or I forgot if I don't need a home base. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. This is all the mounting stuff. This is what you mount to uh, screw on. Uh, this is a, uh, you know, those, uh, this is the same screw hole. I think it's a quarter screw hole um, as like the other ones as well. There's some screws here in the uh, package here. And we also have a regular USB uh, cable, which is pretty long. We also have an AC adapter and this will basically plug into the wall and uh, this wire will basically keep the camera on so you just plug everything in and nothing else is in that little box we have a message with hey there oh this is actually renewed by the way now uh, this message is from Amazon uh, it probably just says you know thank you and stuff like that that we're reusing something now uh, that's not brand new and here we are nothing else is in the box as you can see uh, this is the actual camera you can actually talk through this so you can see the speakers on the sides on both sides uh, there's ufi written UFI, ufi security written on it there's a little you know um, place here under that writing where it says uh well where it lights up um, i guess when people are nearby uh, this camera here, it tilts and, uh, you know, pan and tilt, I think is what it's called. Yeah, I, th I think you can zoom as well because the other ones I can just double tap and zoom in. So that is possibly in there. But you hear that uh, noise? That's the motor probably um, that we're going to deal with. And then we also have a button for setup and uh, the power cord will directly plug right into that and this is the bottom side of it or upside of it top side of it so basically what we do is we put this mounting thing um, we just screw this on the ceiling and then we just take the camera up there and we'll you know just twist it on and then that'll hold this whole and that'll hold this entire camera in place and then you know you just plug it in and connect it to the nearest outlet uh, that's about it. So it's not that hard. It's pretty easy to use. I'm going to set this up and show you guys how exactly it works on the phone and how we can move everything else like that. Setting this up is very easy. Uh, you just add a device uh, on top here and then you just have to find the actual camera. So indoor cam pan and tilt. You just add this and then add to the home, you can uh, you just have to connect it by scanning the barcode here, and uh, we have to press the setup button. Oh right, this wouldn't work because it doesn't have a battery in it. So you're gonna have to actually plug this in before you do the setup here. 
So here we are plugging in the USB cord here. As you can see, it started moving on its own and uh, this is now plugged in. Now we're gonna actually uh, press this setup. Uh, we're gonna press this for like two seconds until we hear a beep. There you go, we got the beep. Heard a beep? Yes, I did. Um, and then it'll connect. Oh, it already did, okay. Well, I gotta put the Wi-Fi password in, which I don't, it's a long password. Unfortunately, we have two Wi-Fi's in the house, so. Please wait. Yep, this is the proper one, so this should connect up right now, and it shouldn't be an issue this time. Setup was successful. There you go. We are done, and now we are just gonna pick. Uh, you can also customize the name of or whatever you put. I don't think you guys can see any of this, but uh, the setup is actually pretty simple. You just go through what it says, and you see that thing is move. The thing is moving here. Okay, so now, mo no micro SD card detected. Okay, okay. So there are two options to secure your storage. So the box that we get with the UFI cameras uh, that I previously used in like, you know, 2C and stuff like that, those cameras come with a box, which is the home base. And the home base has, I think, around 16 gigabyte of storage or something like that. So it stores the videos in there. But this one is going to be recording 24-7 so this is not gonna, you know, a 16 gigabyte is gonna run through like in a couple of minutes. So now we have two options. Either you can buy the cloud storage or you can have your own SD card and have that inserted here. And whenever you want to watch, obviously, um, wherever this camera is, you can watch it. But in order to have the footage, you need to get to the SD card. If you do not have the SD card and you don't have the cloud storage, then you don't have the footage basically that's what it is uh well i don't really know where even the sd card goes but uh the whole reason why i'm putting this is for my cat um so i, I, I i'm not that worried uh i don't really need the footage uh, of wherever whenever so i'm just gonna skip it okay and then um you will have different options of mounting this thing so this will obviously invert the camera you know you can you know mount it this way um, you can mount it on the wall uh, on a shelf or a table or on a ceiling like i was saying uh, i'll probably mount it on the ceiling i'm going to leave this down here and you know since we connected everything i'm just going to show you guys in this video how this actually works so uh congratulations your camera was mounted successfully we're going to finish up and we're gonna press entryway here okay so now let me just move this all right you're probably gonna hear me a uh, little double here um, so this is okay I have to put that down because it's gonna do a lot of interference here but this is what it looks like um, this is the camera as you can see uh, I'm just gonna face it toward me and uh, maybe you guys can see what's going on here uh, this is me and uh, we have a little button here uh, well joystick here uh, we're gonna you see how it goes up and then it goes down it goes you know to the side to the other side you know you can you know move this around and see you know wherever you want to see and uh, just a uh, thing here. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys how it moves actually on the camera. So there you go. So whenever somebody is passing by this camera and it gets a, a motion detection, you still get that notification. So you're not losing out on anything. Um, if somebody's there, wherever it is, um, you, if you don't have an SD card or whatever, uh, you will still know that somebody's there. Uh, that shouldn't be. A uh, few things here are uh, you can record things here and then you can take a screenshot I think these you can probably fit in your phone uh, you can also hold and speak to a person who's there uh, so you can speak right through the uh, speaker if you're not you know present at the moment you can speak to the people through this speaker and then we have a round look 360 so when you put the 360 on this thing will 
rotate 360 degrees and show you everything around it. This is a 360 view. Uh, there's a whole button for it in the bottom. And then we also have a sound. So this um, probably, okay. So the sound basically just, uh, I guess, mutes the noise or, or uh, okay. Well, I guess the sound basically doesn't make any noise, I guess. Uh, that's pretty much it. But uh, this thing is super helpful. It's really useful. And best part is you do not need a home base for it because home base cost around like $100. Um, this thing, you can just put it anywhere in any room you like. Uh, this will record everything and uh, you can just put it in a corner of a lobby or something like that. I'm planning to get these for all the rental lobbies and, uh, you know, just connect them up, uh, throw the wire in the wall and, you know, connect it to an outlet inside the wall. And that should be good. Uh, nobody's going to touch it. I'll have, you know, full access to everything. I can, you know, move this around and see where everything is. It's pretty chill. I really like this camera. This is definitely going to be a five star camera for me. Um, that's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I will make sure that I write things down in the description down the road. Uh, if I come up with any problems or any issues or anything good, anything that I find out or however it's going and all that stuff. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.